Welcome to my channel and to this video. This video is all about planting onions. So growing onions from seed is actually not that hard to do and it is the most economical way to grow a ton of onions. So literally from these two seed packets, my goal is to grow almost 300 onions. So enough for my family for the entire year and enough for me to share with my parents and probably my brother as well so that none of us have to buy onions. Now, I started gardening just because it's something that I find to relieve stress and it's just really fun to do. So I love having little goals in order to grow enough food, you know, for the year or for a certain amount of time so that not only am I getting to do something I enjoy, but I'm also getting to take some things off of my grocery list and save my family some money in the process so that those costs of gardening are, are not only offset, but it becomes something that actually saves us money. So planting onions. First things first, quick primer on growing onions. The first thing you need to know before you plant your onion seeds is that there are different types of onions and you need to grow the right type for your region. So first off, there are short date onions. Short date onions take, okay, actually, let me back up just a little bit more. <laughs> so there's three types of onions, right? So the reason the onion types are actually determined by the length of day it takes for the onion to start creating that bulb. And so depending on where you live, that determines how long your days get in the summer. So I live right outside of Dallas, Texas. So I'm in zone 8A. And in my zone, actually set zones seven or greater, you need short day onions. And those onions start to bulb when the day length is between 10 and 12 hours. That's when that bulbing process on the onion starts. Um, so if you live in zones six or lower, then you need long day onions. And so, because essentially the further away from the equator you live, the longer your days get in the summer. And so you need onions that bulb once the days are a little longer. One, because you can't plant them until a little later in those cooler climates, and that gives you more time for the onions to bulb. So long day onions start to bulb when the day length reaches 14 to 16 hours. So that is really important. Ask me how I know. <laughs> you could probably guess, yes. I did try growing long day onions and my eyes just messed up, messed up. So that's step one, growing the right type of onions for your area. Um, there are also intermediate day onions or also day neutral, they're also called day neutral onions. And those are onions that grow between 12 and um, 14 hours of day length. Now, you can grow those in any area, but your success will depend on how close you are to kind of that recommendation. And so they're best suited for those zones in the middle, zones five and six. So keep that in mind. So make sure you're buying the right types of seeds because your big box stores will have seeds there, even if they're not for your particular zone. So you might be in a short day region and you walk into the big box, you know, home improvement store and find seeds, onion seeds, and then you might find out later that they aren't the correct type for your region. They don't necessarily stock in those stores what you need. They stock what they think will sell. So keep that in mind um, whenever you're even purchasing seeds at local stores. You still want to look those up and make sure that they're the right for your climate. So I always just Google search things <laughs> before I buy them at big box stores. So keep that in mind. So for me, I am growing two types of onions this year. I'm growing these red burgundy onions and I'm growing these Texas 1015 sweet onions. These are really popular here. They're supposed to be super sweet. I haven't grown these before. They're supposed to be crazy sweet onions and they can grow pretty big. So I'm pretty excited about that. So just growing these two types, that'll be enough for me. Now, the other thing that you need to know for growing onions is that the bigger the, the onion size is determined by the number of layers. And so each layer of foliage that grows before that bulbing process grows, when your onion's just growing leaves, each leaf, essentially, that's a new layer on your onion. So you want to give your, at this point, what you can control is the time. You want to give your onions enough time to grow lots and lots of foliage before the bulbing process starts, which is why you want to make sure you're starting your seeds at around the right time. So here in Texas, 
now is the time or probably a little earlier to be honest these texas 1015s are called um 1015s because that's when you should start them and here it is november 18th 2021 to date this video and so i'm probably a little bit late but i think i'll be fine i'm within the window that i need i'll be planting my onions that i start indoors outside in mid to late january so I'll have eight to 10 weeks of them growing indoors. So I have some nice strong plants before I put them outside in my garden. All right, so for me, I am planting my onions in these seed starting trays. I wanna say they're about an inch and a half deep or so and one inch square around. So I have, I've already cut it actually. Um, so this is the perfect amount for me and the amount of onions I'm growing. I grow in raised beds in my garden and I'm dedicating one eight by four raised bed to onions, same as I did last year. I'll put some pictures up here so you guys can see what they looked like last year. Um, but one eight by four raised bed I'm doing, so in each square foot, so that's 32 square feet, each square foot I use an intensive spacing method. So I give the plants, the onions, four inches, four inch spacing. So that's four inch on center. So which means that each square foot of my garden can hold nine onions. So nine times 32, that gives me space for 288 onions. And I intend to grow 288 <laughs> onions. So here in this tray I have, or in these trays, I cut this apart because these are for the red onions. These are for the, the Texas sweet onions. And so I am going to seed these. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. I'll move into my room where I'm doing the growing, but the lighting isn't as good in there, which is why I started in here. But yeah, so I have 72 cells here. So in each cell, I'll put five or six seeds, maybe a few more um, in each one of them. You can grow onions pretty tight because they have really fibrous roots. So once they grow and you get ready to plant them outside, they're actually pretty easy to separate without damaging them. So you can actually um, grow a lot in a little bit of space. So in just this, these trays, I'm gonna grow, start all of the seeds for all of my nearly 300 onions that I plan to grow. All right, so make sure I didn't forget anything. No, I think I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna, get set up in the other room and then show you guys how I plant these onions, what I'm using to plant them in and where I'm gonna place them under the lights. Okay, so I have my seed starting trays here, my soil that I'm using and my seeds. So I'm gonna get this started. My soil is pre-moistened. So it's ready to go. This is just like a beet moss vermiculite mix. And so that's what I start most of my seeds in. Although this upcoming season, I think I'm gonna to switch to cocoa core because I because that's supposed to be better for the environment, but I'm gonna use all of the peat moss that I already have first, of course. Um, so, I'm just gonna fill this, these up with the soil. I'm on the floor because this is the best spot. I don't really have a table that works for this. So I generally do this on the floor so then I can just sweep up and vacuum it up. So onion seeds are small, so you don't want to plant them more than about a quarter inch deep. So I'm just kind of pressing this down because I'm gonna put the onion seeds, sprinkle them on top, and then go back and cover it with soil. So I don't have to worry about trying to like mix them in, it just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so, oh. so this is the larger one. It's the one I'm using for my 
yellow onions just because I use more of those in my cooking. However, when it comes to onions and cooking, I pretty much use what I have on hand, but I use yellow onions more than I use red onions, which is why I'm growing more of these. If you haven't seen them before, onion seeds are mad tiny. So I'm just going to sprinkle them on each of these cells. I'm just going to use this whole packet. And Okay, so that's the first set of onions. I have the seeds in there. And so now, let's make sure I'm angled well. Okay. So now I'm just gonna cover this up with soil. Now you can, if you wanted to, rather than using a tray with different cells, you could, some people seed them in just one big, you know, tray that's not even separate cells. Um, you can do that. I considered it, but this is what I had on hand, and I believe in using the things that I already have before I go out and buy something else. So that is why I used this. So, onions are planted. These are my yellow onions. I'm just gonna put a little marker in there so that I remember what they are. Bring these up a little closer. There they go. And now my next step is to actually put them over on my, on, under the lights. place the tray right there and that's where it will grow. I'll give it eight to nine hours of light a day. I don't want to give it too much daylight because remember onions are photosensitive but I'm fine at under you know under 10 hours. Give it that much light each day under these lights. Here I'll turn this. I don't think it's plugged in. Um, but yeah put it under my lights. Now I will lower this so that the lights because the lights need to be right above it. Now, until it sprouts, until the, the seeds sprout, obviously they don't really need light, but the heat from the lights will help to warm the soil so that it'll help them germinate a little faster. So I'll turn on the lights on them. I may just turn on the ones right above them and I will lower this shelf. This is an adjustable shelf so I can lower it so that the lights, the lights are fixed to the shelf here. So I can lower it so that the lights are right above the plants. They need to be just like an inch above them. And then I raise them raise the shelf as the plants grow. So this is where they'll be until mid to late January and I put them outside. So I'm gonna finish up 
planting my red onions, but the exact same process as the yellow ones. And now I have them started and that will turn into onions, like the ones that I'm gonna put on the screen for you guys to see. So here are my onion plants, my onion seedlings. It has been 10 days exactly since I planted them. So I just wanted to add that update here. So the yellow onions have definitely taken off a little more quickly than the red ones. Let's see, hopefully this stays in focus. Um, so these are the yellow ones and here are the red ones but they're both growing pretty well. They sprouted in about five to six days. I can't remember exactly, I think it was five days. And now they've started to really take off. Um, here's a view from the top. It's a view from the top. And they are under my LED lights. All right, so just wanted to provide that update on how they were growing. And so just wanted to provide that update on how they were growing. But yeah, they're looking good. They grow like this, they look like grass, <laughs> essentially, um, as they're growing, but. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Okay, so it is day 15. Day 15 since these onions were planted, and so far they're growing really well. It looks like my germination, <clears throat> I mean, I didn't count. <coughs> I didn't count the exact number of seeds I planted, but it does look like the germination for the yellow onions, which are these right here on the right, has been stronger than for my red onions, but I still have plenty should be enough to grow the amount I want to grow. I may, I may just out of kind of sheer paranoia, grab a little container and drop a few more seeds in it of red and yellow just to be safe. I think yellow I have plenty, um, but red, I don't know. I wanted to do about a fourth of them red, I believe, fourth or third of them red, and the rest of them yellow, just because I'll use yellow just a teeny bit more in my cooking. Um, but so far so good. These are scheduled. It is December 4th. I want to make sure that's right. No, it's December 3rd. It's December 3rd and these are going out into my garden. I'm planning the end of January. So by then they'll be even taller than this. I have fertilized these onions one time on day 10. I fertilized them half strength synthetic fertilizer and I am not going to fertilize them today, but I am watering them today because they, if you look at the top soil, top of the soil, it's looking pretty dry. I don't want to overwater them, but I also don't want to underwater them. So I'm going to bottom water, just pour water down here into the bottom. I just use filtered water from my kitchen um, to water them with. I do use water out of my filtered pitcher um, just to remove some of that chlorine fluoride. And oftentimes, I didn't have any ready today because I was just like, and, but usually I'll just keep my water jugs filled. I just use old um, like milk cartons or this one is like an old vinegar carton, but I just reuse things in the house. Um, and I usually will keep them filled with water. I do have one, the one with the fertilizer in it though. Um, but I usually keep these filled with water and keep the lid off so that some of the fluoride and chlorine can leave the water naturally by the time I use it. So once I water them today, I'll go ahead and fill up this jug. And then I have another one I'll go ahead and fill up since now I'm keeping one full of fertilizer. Um, and have those just ready to go. So anytime I need to water these seedlings or my house plants, I have water in it that has less fluoride and less chlorine because it's been filtered and it's been sitting out in order for some of those chemicals to evaporate so that it's a little better for my plants. But yeah, so this is how they're growing. They are doing great so far. It's amazing to see that this is going to be a whole raised bed full of onions um, after starting out looking kind of like grass you see so yeah it's 
That's how the onions are doing. Okay, so it is December 19th, one month and one day after planting these onions, and they are looking great. Here are my yellow onions, and over here are my red onions. I'm actually going to trim these in just a minute because they have gotten really long and they're toppling over a bit, so it is perfectly okay um, to trim the tops of your onions. Off. I'm gonna use the onion tops because you know that's food they taste like kind of like green onions and you can use them in cooking or in a salad they're delicious so I'm gonna trim these off so they can stand up a little better and send more of that growth down to the roots but yeah after a month and a day they are looking amazing and in about a month they'll be going outside into the actual garden to Grow me some onions. I think I mentioned this earlier, but last year I grew onions and I am about to eat the last few. I harvested them in early June and it is now December, of course, so it lasted me about six months. My goal this year is to grow a year's worth. So yeah, now last year I did not grow them from seed. I attempted to, but I did not buy the right kinds of seeds for my area. Thanks, Home Depot. <laughs> um, and I found that out. What, by the time I figured that out, it was too late for me to start new seeds and be ready for the season. So I bought some onion seedlings from a nursery. And they turned out great, but we had some freak weather and some of them bolted, which is one of the downsides of using dormant plants because onions are biennial and they which means they produce seed the second year and once an onion bolts and goes to seed then the bulb stops growing so i had several of them do that and then we had that freak deep 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 freeze weather event they did survive it i mulched them very heavily before we got that really really cold weather um and they survived it just fine but from what i understand kind of that going from really cold to really warm to really cold um is not good for the plants either in that it just um, triggered some of that bolting as well. And so I didn't get really big onions, even though I had several. Um, and some that were big, but most of them were kind of medium to small size. So they tasted great and they've survived for six months in my refrigerator. And I'm eating them, but this year I want to harvest a year's worth and not have to buy onions for an entire year. All right. All right, and so these are the onions after I trimmed them. And they're standing up much more nicely. And that's nice because I don't have to raise my rack. I was gonna have to raise the level of it because the light, the onions were starting to touch it. I mean, I've already raised it a few times um, since they started growing, obviously, for height reasons. But now I don't have to raise it again. So, yeah, those are my onions. And these are the... This is where I cut off. So we'll eat those, I'll put those in salad. Actually, I actually have some pizza that we had yesterday that I'm gonna put these on when I heat up the leftovers. So yeah, they're delicious and everything. And yeah, they look great. And about a month, another month inside and I'll take them out, outside. I was looking at the bottom though, the roots are looking really strong underneath so I might put them out even sooner just need to get the bed that they're going to go in ready and fertilize and add some compost to it. But. So thank you for sticking around and watching this video. Oh, I just touched my hair with dirt in my hands, y'all. Gross. Um, but thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe so that this video can get out to more users on YouTube and hopefully be helpful to other people 